Hey what's up guys this is Wicked Android HD and today I'm going to be showing you how to maximize the quality of your sound coming out from your Samsung Galaxy S4i 9505 and why did I mention the, this variant because the i9500 uh, has a different um, audio chip than the my variant right here in my hands uh, so this one in my hands will need some serious tweaking to get out the maximum audio quality let's uh, say like that and uh, yeah this is a tutorial for those uh, those uh, people who can't live a, a day without listening to music like me for example and I'm gonna be going through two main apps and also my headphones right here to show you what configuration do I have on my Samsung Galaxy S4 in order as always to get the best uh, audio sound quality of your Galaxy S4 so uh, let uh, let me let me begin we're gonna need uh, two main apps in order to make this uh, dream come true let's say like that and first of all is uh, the app itself with the tweaks uh, the audio quality hell of a lot and I highly recommend this this is the best app believe me listen to me <laughs> yeah and this is called uh, Viper for Android FX this is the app that we're gonna use and I'm gonna be showing you the configuration later on but for now let's uh, close this and of course the second app we're gonna we're gonna need is uh, the a music player it doesn't really matter what music player you're uh, you're using or you prefer but you're gonna need uh, some serious some serious tweaking in the equalizer, the equalizer in your, into your um, music player and uh, I have a, a, a recommendation this is uh, one of the best apps you'll ever find on Google Play Store not talking about music but on a, on a global scale let's say like that and it's the best music player I've ever used and I'll be using for I think I've been using this app for five years or so, yeah, yeah, on the Galaxy S1, I found it, and it's called a Power Amp, and it's the only app that I bought from the Google Play Store, and uh, it's worth the money, believe me, it uh, will uh, give you a 15 days trial to test it, if you don't have it, but as you may see here, I have purchased it from Google Play Store, the latest version, and uh, yeah, there's the there's uh, these two apps we're gonna need in order to get the <coughs> sorry latest the latest the best uh, sound quality of your Galaxy S4 into your headphones and uh, yeah from there into your ears. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the headphones I have. They're the GFC HA FR 201 the ones with the microphone these are the headphones that I use the bluish version variant let me let's see if I can zoom in here nice focus right here so this is the GFC XX explode and we, I also have the microphone right here the cable is a little bit weak but compared to my latest uh, GFC's um, so we have a 3.5 millimeter jack here so these are the headphones that I use so yeah um, this configuration will work pretty damn well on any other headphones but I'm gonna show you some differences you'll need to take in mind before proceeding to the next uh, state step okay and uh, yeah uh, so let me think first of all I need I think uh, we're gonna get into so you'll need the root. The main, uh, the main thing that you will need is that you will need the root. Um, if you don't know how to root your device, I have a lot of videos on showing how to install custom ROMs and so on to recovery. Please check that. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to these videos. But uh, you'll need root, and after you get root, you'll need to download the Viper app. <coughs> okay, the Viper app. I also put a link in the description to the download the link. And after you get this, you'll get a pop-up showing. I, let's see if I can get close to that. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Okay, 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 uh, okay, let's uninstall the driver. So, I'm doing this right now to show you how it, uh, how the app works before installing anything. So right now it's uninstalling the driver. I don't think it's gonna take some, it's gonna take some, some time because yeah, okay, driver uninstall, please reboot your device. And if we open the app right now, you can, uh, yes, I think I have to reboot my device. So let's, uh, let's hold boot. Okay. So I'm running Amiga right now. The long story because I have a lot of data stock in this RAM with all the Android backups, yeah. And I cannot afford to put another RAM and lose all the data I have here. So while it's booting, I'm gonna explain uh, how this procedure wo procedure works. Uh, so this Viper app will uh, replace and will add some libs into your system folder and of course a lib folder of your system <coughs> okay okay so right now if you if you we open the Viper app you will see a message in order to use Viper for Android you'll need to install update the V for a driver so it will uh, be done automatically yes so we click yes now it's a very important step <coughs> it depends of your Android device super audio quality requires a dual core CPU even higher than dual core but, but I guess you have a dual core CPU the latest devices the latest gadgets have a quad or even more hexa-core processor so we'll go for a super high a super audio quality high audio quality is um, is as close as the super audio quality the power saving yeah it uh, uses less less uh, power and it saves battery but if you want to get the latest the latest the best so sound quality you will uh, need a um, super audio effect so uh, yes I want to continue and it says driver install please reboot your device um, I think uh, let's reboot it again just to show you every single step that we'll need to take in mind so I was I was uh, talking about how this works so it replaces the libs into to your system folder and um, you will be asked to, of course about some uh, some tweaks in build prop in order to make it run really smooth and you're gonna click yes every every single pop-up you'll get and uh, after you reboot this time you will uh, you'll have your device overpowered with the latest uh, audio libs <coughs> libs okay and we're gonna get into the tweaking part of course the into Viper for Android uh, FX and uh, the power amp app so if we open the Viper for Android FX application right now as you may see if uh, we go here we'll get the Viper for Android FX menu saying headset phone speaker Bluetooth device USB dock so if you're listening to phone speaker music you can tweak them you can tweak the sound quality you can make it sound even louder I cannot show it on your video because um, it doesn't really reproduce the exact amount of sound coming out from my Galaxy S4 uh, the headset is uh, the main uh, menu that we're gonna we're gonna describe so it says uh, master power enable Viper for Android uh, fixes powered on force enable VA is a uh, V4A <coughs> is uh, something that will use will use a lot of battery because it keeps uh, enabling the device the application module if it uh, runs uh, if your device runs out of man memory and yeah you know it gets killed by the RAM okay so we have the playback gain control uh, we have I have here my 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 preferred settings it sounds I can get the best uh, or the sound of my headphones by using these these uh, tweaks 
and I'm gonna scroll down and show you what they are. I will also post post the full configuration as you may see here. If you click load effect profile, I have two configurations. So it's called ISF and loud. The ISF is the one that I use with my headphones and the loud is the one that I use with my external speaker and my external <coughs> the phone speaker. Okay, so if you, you're talking about uh, your headphones, you should be using ISF after you download it and I'm pulling a description with these two files. So we have a uh, Viper Point DDC. Uh, this uh, is a twig that uh, has a lot of uh, headphones models including Beats, Audio Techniques, Creative, yeah, Danon, GFCs as you may see here, <coughs> LGs and so on, Logitech and you can choose whatever device, whatever headphones you have and it will automatically adjust the bass, the treble and the middles to your headphones and we have here some uh, fire equalizer okay some uh, DJing fix differential sounds uh, re reverberation dynamic system with uh, uh, how good your headphone is high-end headphone the dynamic bass bass fidelity control enable viper bass pure bass three bass modules we have here natural bass, pure bass and subwoofer if you're in a car and just switch to subwoofer select bass boost we have up to 17 decibels of bass boost clarity mode also 17 clarity modes uh, not 14.8 sorry auditory system protection so it also cares about your integrity of your <laughs> auditory system so and master gate limiter output gain you can gate out um, to 6 decibels so the default the stock one is 8 is 0 and you can uh, add plus 6 decibels to your sound quality and this is the Viper app as I told you I'm gonna be uploading these two th two tweaks of uh, Viper on Dropbox and uh, put a link in the description down below and uh, but now we're gonna get into power amp and I'm gonna change this this theme because it doesn't really look very well on uh, so we're gonna go and look and feel and skin and maybe we're gonna get into into yeah I think KitKat this one yeah I think it really looks a little bit better <coughs> and after you get this I'm gonna show you how many songs I have I have more than I have actually 1000 let me see 1784 songs yeah on your my Galaxy S4 I can rock a <coughs> three parties at the same time with this music uh, so <coughs> let's get into to the main screen uh, player so we have a m song coming out of your device right now and we're gonna go to this icon here is the equalizer and I have to see here down below presets as you may see I have we this power amp comes with uh, a couple of presets bass bass extreme bass and treble treble flat classical dance yeah depending of what genre of music you listen to <coughs> right now I am uh, listening to I am set up on your on my speaker which is loud because I'm while I'm not using headphones I'm using uh, this this uh, this preset but when I'm using the headphones I use the soft bass soft bass which comes default with the power amp so you won't need any configurations less or more uh, so how do you edit this to to activate auto activate while using headphones is to go to that three dots there these three dots and you're gonna go to assign assign and then click uh, wired headset if you're if you want to if you'd like to activate while connecting your headset so let me show you how it works so I'm gonna connect the headset okay and the music will automatically be turned on <coughs> and if I go to preset as you may see the soft bass automatically activated and the bass 
along with the Viper for Android FX stays, stays uh, I set up at this kind of half away of the ba maximum base or, or minimum base and the treble is about uh, three quarters of the maximum possible treble of the treble a uh, very important step music for music FX here this button should be always activated if you long press on it you will get the <coughs> automatically the Viper for Android FX app how to get this if you don't have it go to settings go to audio advanced tweaks disable DFC direct volume control is a very important step disable direct volume control and enable music FX okay that's all you need to do <coughs> okay so let's get in the power ramp again where we were so you have to enable this to load up the module of your Viper for Android FX app the equalizer is looking like this looks like this sorry all these three, three options are activated if you want to get some more uh, more let's say loudness you just slide this to the upside and the, or if you want less less uh, loudness you just uh, pop this down here but we're gonna keep it here so yeah any any other things to be mentioned I'm running out of time right here three minutes to go um, and these are the headphones I presented them so as I said I'll put a link in the description with the configuration of Viper uh, power up I've just showed you how to how to get the maximum quality sound quality of your galaxy s4 and uh, yeah I think that's it guys please uh, feedback give me a feedback about how it sounds after you put these two apps and uh, configure it as I showed you uh, on your galaxy s4 please thumbs up and subscribe if uh, it, did, it did really make an improvement of your on, on your sound quality and as always wicked android hd thanks you for watching and uh, wish you wishes you a healthy and good weekend see you when well, i'll have the necessary time to do this because uh, i hadn't got any time last last week to last week to to make a video or a tutorial so Thanks for watching guys, Wick Tandrate is out, bye bye.